Oh, I'm gonna take a break. Talk about something light. Yeah, this is this is light right here. Mm. Mm mm mm. Samosa. Samosas, um, plus samosas made out of um, potato and carrot, actually, with a uh, dough. I think, I think, I think my wife used um, one of those pre-dough kind of things you just get out the thing, because she, she sometimes she makes it, but she makes the dough from scratch, and then you know, for the for the covering like that. But uh, I think this one is the uh, is the pre-dough that you get out of the freezer from the grocery store. Speaking of grocery stores, you know, I have to, um, because of my Denbaza group you know, investigating, well, they're doing cryptocurrency. I'm investigating the blockchain. You know, it's supposed to change the world. But I noticed a headline someplace where they were, um, uh, groceries are going to be dealing with the blockchain. I, I guess they're going to deliver groceries to you. I have no idea. I haven't really read the thing yet. But, and everybody's pulling out a white paper. They call it a white paper. I don't know if these are just statements they go into things. So every time you do one of these, you have to read, read the white paper. But it'd be kind of interesting um, because I don't know how they're going to do that because I don't really buy, I don't really want to get into stuff from the, from the grocery stores uh, because I don't know where they get their stuff from. You know, so even if the grocery store is going to deliver it to you, I don't know. You know, but then again, if the, because of blockchain technology, if you have some way, like in this neighborhood, and my wife is going to ship it to you, or you they're even going to pair through a cryptocurrency, I guess that'll work, and then she delivers it to you, uh, you know, and, 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 and Alice, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm awfully suspect about um, about perishables and stuff like that, how are you going to deal with the blockchain, how some come to you, maybe it's not good for you, I guess, well, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to work, so it's going to be kind of, kind of interesting to, to see what happens, but speaking about growing your own food and stuff like that, I was listening to somebody, hmm, what happened? Mmm, so good. Mmm, mmm, whoa, so good. Okay, let's stop that. And I've been thinking, that it's interesting living in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa because, you know, we grow our little garden like that, and now my wife is going to do samosas also because she doesn't design and stuff, you know, but she likes to cook, I like to cook. But, you know, we're, gonna, we're moving someplace new, and so we'll, we'll start a new garden. But I think we're going to start growing potatoes too, sweet potatoes, I really rather sweet potatoes, but she grow sweet potatoes with a bunch of other stuff. And we use that to make samosas and everything like that. Self-sufficient. In fact, it's interesting because, you know, I met her in Cape Town, and she grew up in the Cape Flats, you know, it's like a gangster, let's put it that This the ghetto. You know, I grew up in the ghetto. And um, so when we got here, it's the first time that she had to, you know, kill the chicken, pluck the chicken, and bake, you know, for a you know, real live chicken, you know, where the chicken eats and stuff like that. So that was quite interesting. So you learn a lot living in these kind of rural areas. So we're sort of self-sufficient. At some particular point, I want to actually um, uh, buy, a, buy a couple of goats, you know what I mean, and herd goats. So that's like an investment too. Um, so I was just thinking, hey, some, I was reading, so, not reading, but I was, um, ah, Dr. Boyce Watkins, there's this couple of cats on there, uh, they rappers, whatever, have also Killer Mike had said something about this too. About, you know, black folks, you know, we have to really get back to the land. You know, we really got to start growing our own food, learn, learn how to defend ourselves, um, do some, not investment, but just, but just do for self. You know, learn how to hunt, kill, cook, you know, whatever we're going to do. Just got to do that, you know, and, and I mean, it used to be a time I guess it's still, you have a little, it doesn't matter, have a little bit of plot of land and you grow your own food because you don't want to be dependent on these people, these Monsantos and people like that to, 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 to you know, delivering stuff to you and you don't know where the stuff comes from really. So a lot of stuff, even here, we're in the house, they might get, so I saw a truck coming, I, I had a, sometimes I'd hitch a ride to, to my group in Denbaza, and one time I hitched a ride back and the guy was bringing groceries from Joburg, from Johannesburg, which is like, I don't know, uh, uh, what, 2,000 K, whatever, to say it's 2,000, it's like, it's like going from um, New York to Chicago, I don't know, something like that, uh, and it's like, it's a long way to be hauling groceries in a truck, you know, mm. it wasn't a refrigerated truck, it was not a refrigerated truck, by the way, 
So this whole um, thing about cryptocurrencies, about blockchain, whatever, I think this, we, everything needs to be decentralized, but also it needs to be, we need to be more local with everything. And just more local with everything. So anyway, it's a, it's the end of the semester here, so there's nobody here who I do research, so I got I get space to go. You know, it's quiet time. It's my favorite time of the year because I can really concentrate. It's like I go back over to the computer and do my, do my little thing. I just want to take a little break and talk about this nice samosa. Samosa that that I'm eating, that me me eating, me being tea from the past and taking the trains to bed. Letting you know what I only suspect. Mmm. 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 Mmm.